What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is actually I'm going to be showing you how to code your car with Beamer code. So basically, as you guys know, when I went over to BMW, they decoded the whole car. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be coding it, showing you how it's all done. Um, so today's video, I'm not, I'm going to be doing everything. But the way I'm going to be doing it is actually, I'm going to be doing it in steps. So, before you used to actually understand, I'm not just going to go off and make a full on video that will go on for about 30 minutes of me coding everything. So I'm just going to do it in parts, so if you want to see whichever one that you're interested in, you'll know what, what one it is. So today, what I'm going to be doing is, so I'm going to go off to the US lights, because they are coded off. Um, I have LED bulbs in the fog lights, LED bulbs in the headlights. What else we have sport displays M logos what else a few other things I don't know on top of my head I can't really think about what we have to do but we'll get along to it and we'll get there oh yeah so just to show you is actually so I'm gonna switch it here and see there that's the eye drive so if we were to go down into vehicle information there vehicle status and then going to check control so basically when I actually uh, if I was to start the car up I'm not gonna start because I actually have the control in and um, you can actually see that my fog lights turn orange and that show me for safety and get it all done and blah 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 whatever it is but yeah what I'm actually using, so you actually know, so I have the app here, I'm going to be using Beamer Code. So that's the app that we're actually using, we're coding it with Beamer Code. I'm going to be screen recording this and showing you how it's actually done. But what we have here is we got the VGate Eye Car Pro, it's a 4.0. So show you this down. I don't know if you can really. Yeah. So there you go, that'd be the adapter there, it's the iCar Pro. So I'm actually gonna get out the car and show you start it up here. Right. So you guys, as you guys know, when I basically turn the car on, the US lights are always on. So these are these guys here. They're always orange. So basically fog lights, they are, when you actually know, um, when they start actually flickering, when you're actually driving the car, you know that there's something wrong with it and I'll show you up in the eye drive that you need to get the problem fixed. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be coding. And then, I can't really think of what else I'm gonna be doing. Oh yeah, actually, we're gonna be also doing. I don't know if you know, guys. So when you're actually driving the car, and um, you actually notice when you're driving a car and you don't have your seatbelt on or whichever, the car actually starts making its own noise from BMW or whichever. So I'm actually gonna be coding that, and I'm gonna be putting the oh yeah, um, noise. The reason why is it's more like subtle. It doesn't make too much noise. It's more quieter, but like it's it's not annoying sound. I like to say, but it still reminds you. So yeah, we're gonna get onto that and show you how that's all done with Beamer Code, and we'll go in step by step, so you'll see it in parts. All right, guys. So here we are in Beamer Code now. So when you actually click into the app, this is the way it starts up. And um, so what you want to do is go connect. So when you're actually connecting up to the app to get into the software, um usually takes a while it takes about two or two three minutes but i actually got into it earlier on just to see because i actually haven't used it in a while but yeah so once you get into it it's gonna show you a multiple of cars there so basically you'd want to pick the one that's right for you so what we have here is we want to go on to the bmw 3 series m3 and then at the bottom it shows you f30 f31 so it doesn't matter what model it is but that's for all the 3 series there so you want to go okay so now it's checking there if everything's okay and it's connecting up to it so here we are guys so basically what you'd want to do is so this the whole 
um, module of the car and from the ECU so there's a multiple of things that you can actually code on this car well on multiple cars depends what model you have and if it's a sport model or an SE model or an M3 or M Sport whichever it is so what you'd want to do is if you're calling the US lights so you'd want to go to the front of the car which is front electronic module so we're gonna click on that there let it load up so guys I just skipped into it there a little bit just so I can get that out of the way because it takes a while so here we are so we're in the front electronic module so there's a multiple of functions there and coding uh, things that you can actually do in the car but what we're going to be looking is so you got the angel eyes audio auto start stop functions battery brake force convenient uh, opening closing so we're just going to leave that out I don't even know if I'm reading that right but whatever and daytime running lights doors daytime running lights right we'll get back to that after so lightning, leaving all that. Right, we'll get back to that. So here we are guys. So basically once you get into all that, you'll go down to the bottom and see the way it says the US side markers. So you, what you'd want to do is click at the very top. So you go onto the US side markers. And then usually, right. So that's usually off for everyone. So it's usually off for everyone there, but so I'll show you off. So what you'd actually want to do is, I don't know how it's actually on for me for some reason. So what you'd want to do is go on to indicator. So once you apply indicator, you'd go okay. So US side markers, brightness. So if you actually don't do this here, brightness or the US side lights won't turn on. So they're on off now. So usually I don't like going too high and too low. So I normally go with medium press a medium for okay then us side markers light function so either you can do it on normally on standing lights so what that is with the standing lights what the way it work is if you actually have your low beams on and the us lights will work with that so you can actually turn your fog lights with or whichever it, it looks nice but normally when i i put it on daytime run lights it's uh you can do it both ways but i just like it with the daytime run lights so when i actually turn the low beams on it just turns off uh, the us side markers actually turn off and it just goes to normal and um, it gives it a different kind of look but whichever is up to you you can go with both so what we're going to be going with is the daytime running lights so we're going to go with okay and that so those are the three things that you have to do so us side markers side markers brightness light function just those three see in the top and um, top corner there you can see expert mode and then it says to turn it on only go into expert mode if you know what you're doing and you know how to use it and um, with expert mode if you are using beamer code before but we're not going to be actually using expert mode because there's a lot to it i'm just going to show you actually we won't go into it and start using it but if we go there so warning using expert mode is incorrectly can cause serious problems to your car yet things like that can happen so if you go on to okay you'll get a lot of these numbers and it's mostly in german and um, yeah as i said don't use it if you don't know normally beamer codes actually take all the important stuff that people usually want to do and why it is highly recommended and they actually put it in the front so it's much easier for you to use so as i said don't use this one unless you know how to use it so we're going to turn expert mode off so back down we go mm. so yes yeah, that's that's still okay so basically what we're going to do is press code in the top right corner it says code if you press coder start coding yes and then we're just going to wait to code print the code right finishing coding that's it it's done restart an ECU clearing errors done coding is complete so now you just exit out of it go to the back and that'll be it 
and um, guys just to tell you if your car battery is running low and um, normally i recommend it to start the car and let it tick over while you're actually doing the coding process but yeah you can do it both ways it's just that if your battery is low i would recommend it the only thing that i'm gonna advise you is, is when the car is actually running and when you're coding you'll actually realize that your engine revs up higher because it's it's doing its own thing it's going through the ecu you'll see loads of christmas lights up in your dashboard your engine light turns on your seat belts your handbrake and all that guys when you actually see this do not panic Um, it's normal it goes through its own thing it actually does that normally and um, so do not panic about it once the coding is done it turns that all off and it just goes back to normal the way it is but yeah guys we're just gonna exit out of that so if you want to go back all the way disconnect it and that'll be it that's your coding done so guys we just finished off the process there of coding the us lights so i'm just going to show you as i said what right the us light the camera just went off right back on camera that's a lot better right so here we are so as you've seen it we're just normal daytime run lights, no US lights. So now we got the US lights coded. Simple process, as I showed you there. Easy to do. Um, so yeah guys, that'll be it. The car is coded now, so we have the US lights back running. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, um, please give it a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Um, there's a lot more to come. More 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 things on the bmw uh, other stuff too if you're interested in like drifting events cash house whichever it is please do subscribe and you'll get a lot more things like this so guys this will be gonna be calm this so we're gonna be going with part one in this video how to do the us lights so yeah we're just gonna leave that there we're gonna go to part two and that's where i'm gonna do fog lights on the car because they have to be coded because they're leds so if you have your normal yellow lights um, it doesn't give you an issue but if they are error lights they're gonna give you problems in the dash showing up or flickering fog lights or whichever so we're gonna go for with part two and code that so yeah thanks for watching guys as i said if you did enjoy please leave a like do subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next video